You're watching WMBD This Morning. Welcome back. Fresh off a big victory last week over Wichita, the Peoria City soccer team hopes to pull it off again this week, and they want you to come out. That's right, and they've got some fun events planned this week to rally the community in support. So joining us today to talk about that, of course, is head coach Tim Reagan. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. So you guys broke the attendance record for your home opener. First off, how amazing did you feel to see so many people just like rooting you on and wanting to be there for you guys? It was just fantastic. When you show up and where I sit on the sideline, I get to see the whole grandstand and behind the goal and all the energy, kids running around. It was really fantastic. I can imagine the feeling and obviously you also have a social event happening tonight, probably a little bit in celebration. So you can tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, at the bullpen right down the road. Uh, we're going to have the team there from 7 to 9, meet and greet, come over, have a drink, eat some food, enjoy the bullpen, uh, get to interact with the players. It's always interesting from afar when you watch them on the field. You <laughs> think you know their personalities, but when you get to talk to them face to face, you learn a lot more. Right. So, and obviously, big opener, start the show off strong. Now we've got a big team coming up that might be a little bit more difficult. How do you mm -hmm. plan to, to get another victory and keep that energy flowing for the team? Yeah. All positivity, by the way. All, yes, all, all positive, positive. <laughs> but how do you keep it going? Of course, you talk about week one, amazing crowd. We didn't win. But week two, uh, <laughs> another good crowd, and we won the game 3-0 against Wichita. Uh, Noah Madrigal scored two goals, which is a local boy, so that's really exciting for the team. Uh, this week, we play a team from Chicago called Chicago City. Uh, they're really talented. They've got top-level players from Michigan, North Carolina, great universities. Uh, but we have good players, too, so I think we'll be okay. All right. With that comes win and loss, obviously, that we talked about. What do you find is the most important thing that these players grow from well, after both wins and losses? Yeah, the first thing uh, when you throw a summer team together is some continuity. So get them together. We've been able to practice now for 10 days, which is better than the two days we had before the first <laughs> game. And we'll continue to grow off of that. A uh, little bit of conditioning, a uh, little bit of understanding each other. Uh, just like any relationship, the longer you're together, hopefully the better it, it becomes for everybody. Sure. So we're looking forward to another game, another win in front of our local crowd. All right. All right, well, of course, this team is catching fire. We want everyone to go out there and support you. Of course, you can meet these local homegrown uh, players, um, <laughs> join them. And of course, you can find all of that information on our website too, ciproud.com. But of course, uh, that's today, bullpen, and then uh, for the kind of the meet and greet, and then we've got Chicago City coming up that game. That information's on your screen on Saturday, and it'll be on our website too.